artificial intelligence is slowly but surely taking over. Earlier this year, we saw robots being introduced in the banking sector by NetBank here in South Africa. Now I'm joined by Jason English, who is leading a team that will be part of the first Global World Robotics Olympics. And they are here to tell us all about their robot that is not quite a robot. Is it now, Jason? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so it's quite interesting when we talk about robots. I think uh, this specific competition is, uh, is really aimed at building kids of the future. Um, so the robot is kind of that mechanism. Um, the event is founded by Dean Kamen uh, last year, and uh, it consists of 180 countries. And really the robots is the mechanism that brings kids from around the world together to compete, not necessarily against each other, but also with each other um, to solve global challenges. Kids of the future, define what you mean by that exactly. So I think if you think about um, this world that's being disrupted, technology is sure. taking over. Um, and so we don't kind of know what this world's going to look like in the future. We don't know whether we can build a better world for kids. But um, as Dean Kamen says, we can build better kids for the future. And, and robotics is no, no doubt going to be part of that future. So uh, I think, you know, one of the, these competitions are really aimed at, at inspiring kids making them rethink about what their future is going to look like and, and hopefully create the engineers of the future. I mean, Jason, can we actually uh, go to the robot that is going uh, to this very prestigious award? There you go. All oh, right. Okay. It is moving around. But guys, can you tell me about your invention and what, what, what went into it? So this is basically a robot that simulates energy impacts and how energy is made. So basically the robot will go and pick up solar panels and drop it off at a solar panel. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm so sorry. You guys don't have mics, and I would have loved to hear from you, but we'll just let Jason uh, do the speaking for you while you let the uh, robot do the moving. Yeah. Jason, so exactly what, what, what is it about this robot that's not a robot that is going on the global <laughs> stage? So, so how the competition works, uh, because I think that kind of brings some background, is every team around the world gets the same number of parts mm -hmm. and they have to there's a, a specific challenge so there's a, a field that's laid out each year has a theme this year is uh, energy so which is quite important to the to the world right and really what these kids are then have to do is they have to build these robots that can compete doing specific activities which there's there's no activity that's really the same so you've mm. got to you've got to find the right balance between a robot that's really fast a robot that's really powerful um, and a robot that's really clever um, and so it can kind of compete on, a, on on different stages, and and yeah, I, I suppose that's, uh, that's the best. I mean, I was chatting to um, John Collison yesterday. He's uh, also a robot kind of man. Well, he studied coding. He's a technology entrepreneur. And uh, speaking to a guy like that, you get the understanding that things like coding and mathematics are so critical for building these kids of the future that will be successful. But uh, what's your point? What's your view? Look, so, so they say that one of the most uh, required jobs on this planet is AR, people that understand and can use AR, um, because it, it's definitely going to be the future. But um, I mean, obviously, the, the way that the world is going is that uh, we need to have um, kids that can program, well not kids, but people that can program these types of things. Uh, the whole artificial intelligence mixed with robotics, mixed with uh, trans new transportation systems, um, it, it's one big integral web. So there's no doubt that, um, that these are going to play important roles in our future. I mean, the conversation right now in South Africa is about, uh, there was some time we were talking about making history a compulsory uh, subject up until a certain level. And I just want to know from you, I mean, should we also be looking at making things like coding and AI and, you know, big data uh, uh, a compulsory uh, a subject for kids of the future to learn? Well, I think our education systems are fundamentally flawed um, currently, uh, globally, not necessarily South Africa. I think globally they're fundamentally flawed because you're absolutely right. The world is going to transform um, and, there's, and it's transforming at a rate that is unimaginable. So, so yes, these need to be part of kids' programs. I mean, as an extramural activity, instead of going and playing rugby, the future kid is probably going to end up going and doing robotics or, sure. or doing artificial intelligence. Sure.
Could we just get one more uh, look at the robot do its uh, thing as we uh, wrap up this conversation? Well, there you go. There it uh, goes. Of course, that was uh, Jason uh, English, who is leading the uh, team of young people in uh, South Africa who will be uh, taking part in the first Global World Robotics Olympics. And that is happening in Mexico. Best of luck to them.